The big storm brought flooded streets to Bergen County this morning. This was the scene earlier in Oakland, New Jersey. Let's go live to CBS News' Elijah Westbrook for an update on the conditions there. Elijah. Well, Mary and Chris, I'll tell you this. Uh, we just spoke with a woman. Her name is Colleen. Very nice lady. She tells us that the storm that swept through last night was just wild. In fact, at around midnight, her doorbell rang, and guess who it was? It was the Oakland Fire Department. She says that uh, fire crews had knocked on the door. They rang the doorbell because they wanted to uh, evacuate uh, certain people from this area, given how close they are to the Ramapo River and Crystal Lake. She said she declined their offer and ended up staying. And luckily, uh, her her home is not experiencing any damage at this time, including flooding. So that is the good news. You'll hear from her at 6:30. We just didn't have enough time to turn that sound bite around. But go ahead and take a look. This was around 3 a.m. Here's some video of what conditions looked like at that time. A stream of water here along Lakeshore Drive, and as you walk down this road at the bottom of a hill, you could see driveways were also flooded. Uh, water combined from the Ramapo River and Crystal Lake created a mess. And neighbors are telling us it could have been worse, and that's because the state's Department of Environmental Protection actually opened up the floodgates to allow for the river levels to come down some. Uh, we introduced you to a man named Howard earlier this morning who's, well, not having the best luck right now. He's telling me that the la uh, last night's storm caused his roof to leak, and now he's noticing some other issues. Let's watch. It was about a quarter to three, and uh, all of a sudden I feel something dripping on my head. I'm like, oh, no, and uh, got out of bed, turned on, woke up the wife, turned the uh, lights on, and I see water dripping out of my uh, ceiling fan. I felt like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> it, it was really bad. I don't know if something fell. I didn't hear a big clunk on my roof, so I don't know if a tree fell. It's too dark for me to see anything. <laughs> What a trooper, and glad he and his family are okay, despite everything. Now, he's only a few homes down from where we are, so we'll try to check in with him a bit later to see how he's holding up. But video here, once again, giving you a glimpse of how conditions were hours ago. Back out here live, of course, the focus for many families out this way is assessing the damage uh, once they wake up, but also uh, seeing if there's potentially any flooding uh, that could have uh, potentially... Uh, you know, arisen, if you will, in the basements here. We're about maybe just a couple hundred feet away from Crystal Lake here, and a lot of people are telling us that it does uh, cause some issues around here. So we'll, of course, uh, keep you posted on that. But we are live right now from Bergen County, New Jersey. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.